Hey what's going on guys, Crazy here, welcome back to another Outriders video and today let's take a look at all of the methods you can use right now to make the most out of it, especially if you're looking to get the best items possible, some really cool legendaries and most important you will be able to carry everything from the free demo all the way up to the full game if you choose to play it once it launches in April. So as always if you enjoyed this video at any point don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it and let's jump right in. By the way I'm also giving a Way, a free copy of Outriders on Steam so if you want to win that all you have to do is to be subscribed to the channel leave a like on this video and simply take part in it by using the links down below and I will announce the winner over here on this channel and via the email address provided in about two more weeks from this point anyway let's begin with the loot this is gonna be super important there are some really awesome weapons and items in the game even more so even at low levels they can still spawn with mods and some of them can completely change your character like for example give you an extra ability use or maybe even completely change the way you use one ability but let's begin with the fact that almost all of the levels will have at least one or two maybe even three hidden gear chests that will provide anything from weapons to armors as well as resources. So what I suggest right here is to go off the beaten path for your very first playthrough and try to gather these as much as possible since they aren't that difficult to find. Now here's the thing about these loot chests, once you pick them once they will not replenish once more in the same playthrough. You will actually have to use a tactic that I will show you right now and that is through replaying the story point or resetting the story chapter and that's actually done really easily and don't worry you will not lose any progress so what you need to do is to just head over back into the lobby menu and right here on the bottom left side of the screen just above the continue game button you will notice that you have another one that tells you you can select your story point and what this shows you is your currently completed chapters so in the demo we have the prologue and rift town and these will be unlocked only if you finish these chapters so this will work the same in the full game as well and as you can see in the rift town chapter we can pretty much choose what mission we can go ahead and replay again without losing any progress so this is going to be kind of like new game plus but the enemies will scale up depending to your world level and yeah what this does is it basically lets you replay the very same missions even the enemies will respawn so you get more chances at more loot drops but most important all of those really awesome chests will also be replenished. Now if you want to make this as efficient as possible what I suggest is to just pick the last mission in the chapter assuming that you already completed that because this is going to put you right after you have finished that already so you will also have access immediately to those side quests as well and not have to replay everything from the very beginning and you will still get those chests replenished and you can go ahead and open them again. But this brings us to the next point on the list and just like in the case of the main story campaign and the chapters you can also repeat pretty much any of the side missions in the game. So usually side missions are the ones that open up once you finish a certain part of the chapter you will notice that there's multiple of these that will appear as you progress through the story and the cool part about this is that you can replay them without any restriction and even easier than it is with the chapters because essentially once you completed that what you need to do is to just head over to the quest giver or the quest location and you're gonna be able to replay it once more. You will be able to notice if a quest is repeatable if you already see its quest marker with a grey color indicating that you already completed it in the past and even more so if you check the NPC dialogue that will also indicate you will replay said quest. Do keep in mind that just like in the case of the main story missions you can't get the end menu screen where you can select one of three possible rewards that is a one time thing only that you only get once per mission and it doesn't matter if you reset or replay them again you will only see those once and yeah definitely go ahead and try this this isn't going to replenish any of those chests unfortunately but it will give you a chance to go ahead and fight with the same enemies in the level over and over again and yes they will still have a pretty good chance at also dropping legendaries themselves as a matter of fact pretty much anything that can drop loot in this game from chests to enemies enemies does have a chance at also providing well legendary loot. But since we 
are on the subject of legendary loot, let's talk a bit about that. I did get two really awesome legendary weapons. One of them was from a loot crate and another one was from an enemy. So I'm pretty sure that right now the chance is kind of like equal between these two. But keep in mind that since we are on a low level in the demo and because we're only on world tier 5, you're going to take quite a bit of time in order to see your first legendary dropping. So that is why I want to cover a specific tactic right now. Now I'm not really sure who was the first person who found it. I was able to get a legendary from the same mission before anybody posted it, but now I'm seeing it pretty much everywhere online. So here is what you need to know about this. You're going to be able to complete a side mission called Terra Infirma, which is basically something that you can only get after finishing the full chapter and getting the final mission done with the end boss and whatnot. So you will need to pass that point right there if you want to take part in that. From that point on, simply head over back to Shira on the second floor of the outpost and she is going to give you this mission to go ahead and take down a certain Captain McCain, which is going to be in that mission. And he is going to be the enemy that you will want to farm since he has some of the best chances for additional legendaries. You're going to have to fight a bunch of enemies and after killing the first wave, he is going to spawn right here from this small room as you can see but there's going to be quite a ton of enemies around you if you're playing as a trickster it's really easy because you can just teleport right behind him cast one of these temporal bubbles and pretty much freeze everybody in time and from that point on i just buffed my weapon damage with the fourth ability that the trickster unlocks and that deals so much damage that he literally just melts in a few shots so yeah this is the point where i got one of its first legendaries um and you can also get it from the chests in the same area so you can definitely combine the two methods I just showed you to either reset the entirety of the chapters and also collect the chests or only focus on this boss. But there is an even more efficient way you can do this in and essentially you can repeat the same boss over and over again without ever having to leave the area or restart the mission. And the only thing you have to do is right after you saw the boss dying and you've collected its loot, simply let the remaining enemies to take you down and this is going to make you respawn right outside of the area but at the same time it will also respawn literally every single enemy in the level including the main boss McCain too. Now the two legendaries that I got was the Iceberg and the Rarox Gaze. Now Iceberg is a pretty awesome sniper rifle. It comes with the following two effects. The first one is Winter's Blast which makes your critical shots to create an ice blast that freezes enemies within a 4 meter radius and the second one Ice Breaker if you kill an enemy that is frozen, it also makes it explode for 151 frost damage. So as you can see, these two skills right here, these two mods work extremely well together, they complement each other really well. You can essentially freeze an enemy with a crit shot and then if you kill him with a second shot, you're going to also do that frost damage blast to all of the enemies around it. By the way, it's totally going to be possible in the full game to dismantle such an item, unlock those two mods on that item and then place it on a different weapon for even crazier effects and you can definitely combine any of the unlocked mods to create some really crazy results. The second one is Rarox Gaze which comes in with Weakness Trap and Burning Bullets. Essentially Weakness Trap uh, makes shots to cause explosions, dealing 46 damage and inflicting weakness on enemies within a 5 meter radius with a 3 second cooldown and then there's the Burning Bullets which um, yeah has a chance to set enemies on fire but on an 8 second cooldown. This was even crazier because because it absolutely shreds enemies with the base default damage being super high and it's also very precise it's like one of the most precise weapons in the game and it looks spectacular this is like the type of legendary that I really like seeing but there's many more I've seen a lot of people with a ton even crazier legendaries so this is like just the surface of it now finally the only two things that I will cover and you should not forget is first of all you will be able to get free loot by simply unlocking new world tiers and you can do so so by simply heading over to the world tier menu and if you get an item right there if you just freshly opened up a tier you're going to be able to manually claim a loot chest that 
will provide an item. And in the later stages, like from 11 and up to 15, you're even going to get guaranteed legendaries by simply reaching those levels. At the same time, I also suggest paying attention to your accolades menu. It's very likely that you've completed already a few of these. And what these are, these are kind of like achievement tracks. So as you play more with a character, kill more enemies or use different abilities or weapons, you're going to unlock really awesome stuff like cosmetics, emotes, um, vinyls and even more important you're going to unlock skins for your truck we don't have the truck right now in the demo but it will be available in the full game and as I've said everything from the free demo will transfer to the full game on the same platform but this is it how to make the most out of the demo by the way thank you so much for watching as always if you want to stay tuned with more Outriders content definitely leave a like subscribe and activate the notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one